The class officers for student council were selected last week. We'll have the details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have soccer and baseball results. All this more coming up on KFOI Daily News. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Good morning, Fort State High School. I'm Cerulean Jones. Today is National Lost Sock Memorial Day. Take a second to remember all, these, all those socks you've lost over the years. I'm Cole Friel. Today is Monday, May 9th, 2016, and here are today's news and announcements. The 2016-17 class officers were elected by acclamation last week. The class of 2017 officers are Jasmine Hearn, Peyton Kelly, Drew Mead, Mercedes Peak, Cassandra Ritchie, Madison Simon, and Shelby Stobart. The class of 2018 officers are Michael Epperson, Brianna Everts, Erica Hallman, Cerulean Jones, Robin Kaiser, and Mackenzie Lyon. The class of 2019 officers are Emily Ackright, Kiara Bradley, Ali Herman, Emily James, Jeffrey Mole, Bailey Summers, and Alicia Whedon. The class of 2020 officers will be elected this week at Osage Trail Middle School. The graduation ceremony will take place at the Community of Christ Auditorium in Independence tomorrow. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the commencement starts at 7. If you could not get a ticket to attend, you can watch it, watch it on KFOI at nfhsnetwork.com. <laughs> Summer is just around the corner, and that means summer sports camp time. Student athletes interested in the football camps must have their $60 fee turned in by May 20th. Dates for football camps are May 31st through June 8th. The team camp will be June 9th and 10th, and will cost $35. Volleyball's camp will be May 23rd through the 25th at a cost of $30. Boys soccer camp will be July 11th through the 15th, and July 18th through the 22nd. For a $50 fee. Girls soccer will be July 11th through the 14th at a $30 fee. The girls basketball camp is scheduled for May 31st through June 2nd for a $30 fee and the boys basketball camp is June 6th through the 9th for $50. Boys and girls tennis camp is July 5th through the 8th and is free. Boys and Girls Cross Country Camp is May 31st through June 2nd for a $25 fee, and Softball's Camp is May 23rd through the 25th for $30. For more information, you can see the coaches for each of the sports. Fort Stage High School Basketball Program is hosting an alumni basketball game on Saturday, May 14th at 6 p.m. in the high school's varsity gym. When we come back, we'll have today's weather report. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Hi, I'm so we start with today's weather report. Over here we'll have our current conditions. Right now it's about 62 and mostly sunny. Um, today it's going to be about 72 with some, with some thunderstorms. Uh, tonight's forecast is about 61, and tomorrow is about 82 and partly sunny. And we'll go over to your radar. So we see up here in Illinois, we have some thunderstorms in the, uh, some of the systems that passed us last night. And we'll go over to your five-day forecast. On Wednesday, it's going to be about 79. Thursday, it'll be 71. Friday, 75. Saturday, it's going to be 65. And on Sunday, it's going to be 67. Coming up next, we'll have today's sports report. Toscano's is the best place to get a delicious Italian pizza. Choose your dough, sauce, and toppings to be wood-fired and served to you fresh. Let John and Kirk give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscano's, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Hey, everybody. It's Josh Smith with your KFY Sports. The varsity baseball team beat Liberty North 4-3 on May 6. Abraham Gonzalez came up, came off the bench and hit an RBI double that ended up being the game winner. 
Blake Molendor had four strikeouts and two innings of relief, and Sam Barr earned the save. The Indians are now 13-11 on the season. Goals from Carly Tatum, Leanne Ann, Barlett, and Aspen O'Neill saw the girls' varsity team defeat Oak Park 3-0 on May 5th. The girls' soccer teams then came up with the three shutouts over North Kansas City May 6th. The varsity won 6-0, the JV 5-0, and the C team 4-0. The varsity is now 12-7 and 1 overall and 9-2 in conference yesterday. I'll be back in just a moment with the rest of your sports report. Culver's welcomes you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of options they have to offer, from strawberry shakes and root beer floats to grilled sandwiches and crispy chicken to be prepared by their friendly staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with their fresh frozen custards and butter burgers. Come into Culver's or pick up some carry out and let them serve you. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Welcome back. The boys girls track team competed in the Suburban White Middle 7 Conference Championships on May 5th. The girls varsity team took the top spot on the podium as champions by tallying 168 points. Staley finished second and North Kansas City finished third. Individual conference champions include Amari Grimes in the 100 meter dash, Marina Rios in the 800 meter dash, Sonia Feitu in the shot put, Paige Bunn in the discus, and Ali Barrett in the pole vault. The boys came in fifth with one individual champion, Matthew Franks in the 400 meter dash. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar for May 10th, the JV baseball team hosts Liberty for a 4 p.m. game. Come out and support your Indians. Thanks, Josh. On this day in history, in 1914, Mother's Day became a public holiday. Our ACT word of the day is dire, which means disastrous or desperate. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day, Indians.